The magic behind a yoga practice is really in considering your circumstance. So what Katona Yoga has taught me is that it's less about being right or wrong, and it's more about considering any situation. If you're in a shoe store, uh, buy shoes that fit. So there's just lots of ways to use your practice to live a, a really great life. I really consider Katona Yoga to be an integrated framework for approaching all different styles of practices that are self-regulatory and self-soothing. So for me, Katona Yoga offers a kind of an overarching framework that I can apply to anything that I'm interested in, on the mat, off the mat. Yoga allows me to handle the complexity of life and really turn towards embodiment in all of its different nuances with an attitude of curiosity and friendliness. Katona Yoga uh, came to me after studying yoga for many years and it was a real relief because uh, I really got to the whys uh, and the hows of, of how yoga works. Uh, for me, it's less about fixing you or um, solving problems and more about proofing things, right? Is what we're doing, does it have utility? Does it have function? So when I look at a pose, I'm just seeing, is this working out for the person? Is it useful? Katona Yoga really celebrates community. Uh, we set up in a mandala shade, we get to look at each other. Each person has a particular piece of the pie, a particular like uh, perspective that only they can offer. And so it's because of our union, which is really the essence of yoga, that we come together and explore a truth that is bigger than all of us. I come from a background of teaching community yoga. Large classes, a diverse population, really anybody can show up. Uh, and part of this particular project is to take some work that has been uh, devised by Naveen Mishan and bring it to a large population where they can immediately use it. When I met Naveen, I was blown away by her ability to integrate she has a very syncretic mind. When you go to a doctor and you have a medical issue, it is the job of the doctor to try to take that pain away and work on your issue. But yoga is almost the opposite. If you come in with a shoulder issue, I get to say, why don't you kick? If you come in with a leg issue, I get to say, why don't you stroke? So the joke is always, you don't go to where you got hurt, you go to where you're not working enough because you always hurt your best game. The minute you go somewhere else, you don't have the experience you were having in the place you were at before. And that's why it's always about changing. <laughs> Katona Yoga is a practice that draws from lots of different types of embodied research. And because of that robust complexity, it has space for lots of different points of entry. Katona Yoga gives us a way of really talking about embodiment in our own language and talking through it with our own gestural vocabularies, with our own dreams, with our own subconscious. I'm really excited to be working with Dejits. Uh, she's a wonderful human, very practiced and um, knowledgeable and um, really comfortable in her own skin and that's something we're all kind of seeking and together collectively we can really um, support one another and share a yoga that we both feel is uh, to live a great life. We want absolutely anybody to come on our retreat. We're so excited to train people and give them skills that they can use over and over again. Come, come practice with us. us.